for 27 years of service give you a Ziploc bag and the most expensive thing in the bag is the pin, the company pin. Bro, they get the company pin to people that are guests. Those are the company pins that, that sit at the desk when you need to sign in. <laughs> Ellie Carson, I need you to call Culver's for me, man. They got some splaining to do. Culver's got some splaining to do. Peace, beautiful people. It is I, Shogun K. Bat like bra straps and faux flats on a Cadillac. Sheesh. <laughs> I'm here with it. Today I'm doing a snack and check. That's right, a snack and check. I told you, no more mukbangs over here. Just a little snacking, a little chatting, and we gonna see what's happening. This video is inspired by Ellie Carson. He recently went to, not recently, a couple videos back, he went to Culver's, right? And uh, he was he was bragging on Culver's and how fire it was. So I was like, I got to try that. Didn't know the whole time Culver's was right down the street from my house. I didn't realize it because it looked like a restaurant. I was looking for a little burger joint, you know what I'm saying? I'm looking for something like a McDonald's Burger King. This joint a whole restaurant, you know what I'm saying? That that office drive through looks like to me. Kind of fancy is what I'm trying to say. So I went ahead and got the uh, double cheeseburger, uh, their traditional sandwich here, some fries and a sweet tea. So we're going to see what this is hitting for. I just wanted to taste tester. You know, you kind of had me. Uh, the tea is super sweet and I ain't put enough ice in here. That's strike one. Culver's, if you listen and that's strike one, it's hot outside. I ain't got enough ice in my sweet tea. I don't want no room temperature sweet tea. I don't want no hot oolong tea when I'm trying to have my meal. No. So now, mm -mm. that's strike one. All right. Let's see what it's hitting for. Let me check out the presentation. Y'all see that? Can y'all see that? Ooh, it look good. Now this, oh, these joints is flat. They smush down flat. Like the tra like traditional old school joints from the 80s. Anybody watch 80s and 90s movies, you know what I'm talking about. Smell good, smell fire. Let's go and get into it. First of all, what in the hell type of stuff you got in here <clears throat> that go down your throat and come back up and get caught right here? It got caught right there. <clears throat> okay, the burger's cool. It's okay. It's not really seasoned well. I actually asked for lettuce, tomatoes, pickles, mushrooms. I didn't get any of that. None of that is on here. Just ketchup and mustard. I ain't get my lettuce. I ain't get my mushrooms. I had to pay for my extra mushrooms. I ain't even get my grilled onions. I ain't get my grilled onions. So you know what? I feel like they messed my order up, so I can't really give it a just do review. This burger is only I right. and uh, I'm finna take it back. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Cause I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna say that. You know what I mean? They messed up that bad. Burger is not all that to me. Let's see the fries. So now, right now, right now, that's strike two. That is strike two. How dare you mess up my order, not give me this extra stuff I paid for, and then in the process try to choke the hell out of me. Culver's, you are on thin ice. Y'all is on thin ice. Ellie Carson, man, you set me up with this one, dog. This is the gold, y'all. This is... This is what we live for. <sighs> Fries hitting though. And it's hot in here. Jesus. Mm. I'm gonna leave that open, y'all. It's hot in here. Yeah. Fries is hitting. I don't want that burger. The burger almost killed me. 
I'm gonna took me up out of here. I know that ain't covered in my insurance policy. Death by burger. I'm pretty sure I ain't checked that box when I got my insurance. Death by cheeseburger. Nah. Mm -mm. Fries is jumping though. The tea is room temperature. They messed my sandwich up. The, the uh, burger ain't really seasoned. Got me feeling like I'm a whole lion eating a fresh gazelle out this joint. Because the meat ain't even seasoned. And it got two pieces of cheese on it. And the way my stomach set up with them bad guts, let me tell you something. Every deposit I make of cheese, I got to make an immediate withdrawal. Somebody out there hear me. The way my stomach is set up, every deposit of cheese I make, I have to make a quick withdrawal. I want to run back to the stove, but I don't think I make it. Bruh. Mm-hmm. Since we snacking and chatting, so yeah, it's, it's a it's a bus for me. <laughs> I'm not on the Culver's train. I'm not even gonna take it back because I wasn't even gonna finish it anyways. I just wanted to try it out. I'm gonna just snack on these fries, I guess. I ain't got no choice but to drink this hot tea. I have to call and ask them why they gave me some hot oolong. Ain't nobody asked for no hot oolong tea, no Earl Grey. You feel me? I ain't asked for none of that. Hey, man, I want to talk to you about something. There is a story I came across a little bit ago, and I didn't really expound on it. A brother working at Burger King for 27 years. 27 years working at Burger King, never called off, never took a sick day. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine having a, an employee who never called off in 27 years or took a sick day? That's crazy. You would think that he would be getting a plaque, vacation, the whole nine. You feel me? On his retirement joint, they gave him a Ziploc bag full of stuff you could have got from the dollar store. Yeah. Outside, I think the most expensive thing in the bag was, was the company pen. The Burger King complimentary company pen was probably the most expensive thing in that Ziploc bag. That's crazy. I'm not going to blame the entire Burger King franchise, that specific store. That's how you show appreciation to somebody who gave you 27 years of their life and never missed a day? Huh? A Ziploc bag full of dollar supplies? That's how y'all do it? Heck no, nah, couldn't have been me. And then he remained cool, cordial, and collected. He said, thank you. He even gave a thumbs up. He gave you guys a thumbs up. Man, I'm giving y'all thumbs down. <laughs> you serious? The hell, man, I'd have slapped that bag across the whole the whole joint, the whole Burger King. I'd have slapped it all across the whole uh, tray where you getting stuff ready at. What? Man, I'd have flipped out in there, man. 27 years and you give me a Ziploc bag? Oh, no, nah, this couldn't have been for me. This had to be one of those uh, gift bags for a new employee. Because this can't be for a person that gave 27 years of loyalty. 27 years. How much time is it? How many hours is that? 27 years? Oh, my God. You can't get nothing back. Can't get a minute back. Can't get a second back. Can he give you 27 years? Hey, I know his customer service is all the chain because even when he got that stuff, he did not get mad. He accepted the gifts. He said, thank you. And I told you, he gave you the thumbs up. Thumbs up. Hell no. Yeah, that manager will have to see me in the back of the store. Because I'm finna tear this whole store up. I'm finna turn this whole store upside down. You hear me? <laughs> like Gilmo said, you hear me? I'm finna turn this whole joint upside down. People don't appreciate you, man. A lot of jobs don't appreciate you, man. Is your job trash? Let me know. Is your job trash? Who else think their job would do this to them? Let me know if you got a job that would do that to you. Would your job do that to you? For 27 years of service, give you a Ziploc bag and the most expensive thing in the bag is the pin, the company pin? Bro, they get the company pin to people that are guests. Those are the company pins that, that sit at the desk when you need to sign in. They gave that man a company pin and said, Burger King, huh? For 27 years of service? Oh, no. Oh, no, my friend. Mm-mm. Nah, I'd have slapped him with that bag. I'd have slapped him with that bag. The disrespect is real. Burger King, come get your store, man. 
these companies do not appreciate you, bro. That's why it's always a good thing to go in the business for yourself, because only you can appreciate you the way you need to be appreciated. You hear me? Only you. That's disrespectful, yo. 27 years, this man deserved at least, at the minimum, if he was going to do something on the bare minimum side, he needed to get a week vacation paid for by the company. A week vacation, you could have sent him to, uh, what's the joint over there in Mexico everybody be going to? Not Punta Cana. That's a, what's the joint over there, man? I forget. Over in Mexico, could have sent him over there for a five-day exclusive all-paid trip. It would have ran y'all like 1500 but fifteen hundred dollars is it goes a long way of appreciation. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate you like that. Fifteen hundred dollars, you pay for his flight, pay for his hotel stay, pay for his food. He'd have had a great time. He'd have probably not even retired. He'd have probably clapped back in and said, "I'm here for another twenty-seven boss." Yeah, I just came back. You feel me from from margaritas and tacos all weekend? I'm here for another twenty-seven. Yeah, he probably would have gave you that. Nah, but not now. No, hell no. Hey, but good look on the internet, though, man. The internet be coming through. That's why it's undefeated. Somebody raised up um, a GoFundMe for him. They raised a GoFundMe, and that joint had, like, some thousands of dollars in it. I think it was, like, 20 bands they raised for you. 20 bands. Hopefully, he gets it, though, because, you know, it's a lot of scamming going on. I don't know who set up that account. Someone might have just seen a quick come up and just put his picture on the GoFundMe and collecting that bread and <laughs> withdraw. They might be over there in Cancun. That's what it was, Cancun. Over there in Cancun, living life. Living life. Having his margaritas, his tacos, his rum he's supposed to have. You know what I'm saying? Send me a piece of that gun! <laughs> At the bare minimum, that Burger King should have did that. Allow that man to take a vacation on a company, and it sets the example for everybody else looking to say, hey, we appreciate your time. We appreciate the energy and the customer service. Let us show you how much we appreciate you. Because there's only two ways to show appreciation, real appreciation when, when, when you work in a job like that, fast food. You either giving me a bonus, right? Either some bread and the bonus is money. Bonus or vacation time. Either vacation time or vacation. You know what I'm saying? It's got to be one of those two. Or I guess a promotion, three. A promotion. But if the promotion is only a, a 50 cent raise and you ain't done nothing, just get my bonus. If I got to take on all this extra responsibility for 50 cent extra, nah, you can keep that. You can keep that. That's crazy. That's crazy. Is y'all jobs like that? What would you do if your job did that to you? Is you going to flip some tables over? Huh? That's what I want to know. Who going to flip over some tables with me? Who going to be right there with your boy? I'm telling you, I'm, I'm holding court right there in the food court. I'm holding trial right in front of everybody. I'm putting the manager on display for everybody to see. I'm telling everybody, get your phones out. And I'm finna tear this Burger King the hell up. When you make the video and you address the managers or the owners of that store until they make it right, you can come by every day and break their ice cream machine like McDonald's. <laughs> That's why I think having a McDonald's ice cream machine. They did somebody dirty like that. So every day he come by McDonald's and just tear the ice cream machine up. That's why you can't get no ice cream. That why? That joint make you think about the energy you give to people that don't appreciate it. That's a lot of time, man. 27 years is a lot of time to be given to a company and a corporation that didn't make you rich. You spent 27 years making somebody else rich. And they don't have no appreciation for you. All the millions and billions of dollars they make, trillions even, you know what I'm saying? None of that trickles down to the employees for real. Little things they could do, they don't even do. They don't even have an employee appreciation model. Working customer service is one of the hardest jobs there is, man. It takes a certain type of person to work customer service because you got to be willing. Let me close the door on that. You got to be willing to take people's stuff regardless of how you feel. Man, you could be coming in from a breakup, a heartache, your dog died. You know, your stomach hurt, and you got to come in, put a smile on your face, and deal with people's attitudes, and be cool about it, and help them and assist them because you want customer service. Pretty much, yo, F your feelings. That's, how, that's what customer service means. F your feelings. <laughs> yeah, boy. It's all about the customer. F your feelings. We don't care about no stomach ache. I don't care if your toe fell off last night. Customer service is about the customer. They ain't worried about you. You feeling people coming to work? Yo, yo got shot seven times and we're still trying to get to work.
I gotta, I gotta clock into my shift tomorrow. Go and stitch me up, doc. That's customer service. That's the life of customer service representatives. If you ain't never did it before, you don't know nothing about it. My first job was at McDonald's. I know what it's like. That's my first job, like official job. My first, first job was a paper boy. And we gonna talk about that another day. Why wow, that's the craziest job to ever have in life. <laughs> I'll talk about that in another video. But Burger King, man, y'all need to make that right if y'all haven't already. Disrespectful, man. And it makes y'all look real bad. Real bad. At least at the miniature golf joint, they give you a miniature golf around the miniature golf. You feel me? <laughs> Five years in, you get a free round of miniature golf. Yo did 27 days, and I bet you he still had to pay for his lunch on his break. I bet you y'all didn't give him no free whopper. He ain't get no free whopper. For 27 years, bro. People are snapping these days, and that's something that makes somebody snap. 27 years of service and you give me a Ziploc bag with pens and post-its. Huh? I ain't seen nothing. Oh, I ain't seen no gift card. What's that gift card in there for like $20 or something like that? Bruh. Bruh. These like the gift bags you get when you when you come to the fifth grade. You feel me? Welcome to, to, the, to this middle school. Here goes the pen. Here goes a gift card for Amazon. Man, that stuff is not... <clears throat> should not be in the same category at all. Somebody that gave you 27 years of mean customer service. He probably was your employee of the month for a good 20 of those years. Probably was the best employee there. Probably was. And that's how y'all do him. That's how y'all treat him. Hey, I ain't with it. Hopefully they get it right with him. I hope he gets that money. Let me know what y'all think. Is y'all putting up with that? Is you putting up with that? Look, Ellie Carson. Man, listen. I need you to call Culver's for me, man. They got some splaining to do. Culver's got some splaining to do. And I messed my sandwich up, bro. I messed my whole day up. I can't even finish a sandwich. You done promised me it was going to be a great sandwich per your video. You know, it's fire. And it wasn't. It was a dud. It wasn't a missile. And yeah, you know, let me down the wrong path, bro. Till next time, love on somebody. I'm Shogun K. I'm out of this joint. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. You know, those three things in those order. I'd appreciate it. Share with somebody you know, you know, or don't know. You know, you never know how it's going to be. I'm Shogun K. Till next time. Peace.